Good morning. It's Wednesday. Keep having a friend of mine that's very near and dear asking me, are you ready for to share some manna every Wednesday? It's been really encouraging. I uh, love spending time with him. Um, some of you may know him. It's Dave Tobias. Great guy. Um, this morning, the Lord put on my heart. Uh, actually, he's been dealing with me for the last couple of weeks, and he just uh, has been telling me, don't delay. Don't delay. And uh, I really feel that the nice thing about the Holy Spirit and where God's at with all this is, is that it's, he speaks to me in a very way, in a clear way that he's not here to condemn me. He's here to transform me and, and bring me from glory to glory and victory to victory. And so I just really want to make sure that when I'm sharing a message about don't delay, I know that immediately starts making me think about you know, the things that I'm doing in my life. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Where am I at? And, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit has always been gentle in that way. Um, some of us need a very, you know, direct, stern word. Some of us, it's it's more of a walk and, and we're going from, you know, moment to moment. And whatever that looks like for anybody that's watching right now, just I just feel that the Lord is prompting us and saying, don't delay anymore. You know, the other day, uh, Dave Tobias did also talk about tightening up and he had some, some great words that were in his message that he had shared. Um, and, and the Lord just been kind of dealing with me on, on don't delay. So, um, in some of the scripture that I'd actually like to share out of this is, um, it's in James, um, uh, James one and it's verses, uh, Two through four, and it says this, um, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith will produce perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete and not lacking anything. And any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. And so I really felt like the Lord was actually sharing that with me. Um, what stops us, right? And, and that was the word that I, I had is what stops us from, from pressing in and from going further. And, um, you know, again, back to don't delay anymore. And a lot of times for me, it's, it's complacency. It's, 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 uh, it's quite honestly, it's not exercising your faith. It's not exercising my faith. It's like when God is asking me to go to that next place and I always find some other time to occupy my mind with, you know, um, work or, you know, uh, getting distracted with my own selfish things that I like to do, whether it's golfing, as you all may know, I do like to do that. Um, you know, whatever it may be, it's selfish things that can, that can delay what God has. So for what he was really speaking to me about is, is that he said, just don't delay time with your spouse. You know, don't delay time with your children. Um, you know, don't delay loving somebody even when you've been wounded. Don't delay forgiving the offenses in your heart that somebody else may have put there. Um, don't delay forgiving yourself. And you put the words wherever it is that you need to have in your life. Don't delay. Don't delay the places that God is calling you to invade. Don't delay the things that God has for you. Because according to the book of James, by exercising your faith, it'll produce perseverance. And oftentimes we get lost in the producing the perseverance through exercising our faith. And it stops us because you say, I've tried this, I've tried that, and I've been doing this, and, and there's no results. It's not, it's not, nothing's changing. Well, that's where the enemy's trying to come in and lie to us and steal the joys that we do have. But I know that it says, according to his word, that my faith will produce fruit. My faith will produce the perseverance for me to bear a fruit in my life. And that as long as I remain without doubt and I remain faithful to that, that what God's word says, I know that he will be faithful to complete the good work that he started in me. And I know that he will be faithful to bring the glory to the kingdom of heaven by using me. And, and the thing is, is that I know that sometimes for me when I'm walking through these things and it's just like, yeah, but I'm not living it right now. Yeah, I, but I don't have that conquered. I, I don't have that all figured out yet. You're right. I don't have that figured out. 
God's working through us. He's transforming us from glory to glory, from victory to victory. But he doesn't want us to delay that anymore because every single day that we wake up, I know that the Holy Spirit continues to keep speaking to me about the same thing that I didn't finish yesterday. See, our, our world is, is so focused on finding the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Okay, well, I worked on this for a little bit. I didn't conquer that, but I know there's something more over here that I want to go to. And I really feel like that says a lot about me in my life. It says a lot about that in my business. It says a lot about that in, in my faith, in my community, and just always being worried about what's next instead of staying with God on the thing that he's still trying to walk me through and, and sanctify me in because there's so many more lessons that he has for me in staying in the place that he's not done with yet instead of trying to go in and conquer something new and running off to the next big adventure and the exciting thing. Unfortunately, this world that we're living in right now, it's immediate gratitude, it's immediate um, fulfillment because we can go on things like Amazon or we can, we can get the DIY self-help that we're looking for and we're more focused on outwardly and not, not vertically. As, as I heard this morning, it was such a good word. It was like, we want to go outwardly and reach outward rather than going vertically. And, um, you know, just, just everything that God has been prompting me to do lately is, is that, you know, my faith will produce a fruit and the time that is spent with him working on the things that I'm delaying, either I will produce a grape in my life or I can produce a, a harvest. And that all really determines on the time that I'm willing to spend with him. The time that I'm willing to say that this relationship that I have with you, I know is for a greater purpose and for a greater calling in the kingdom. It's not just about Jeff. It's not just about myself. But I know that if I'm obedient to what it is that God has for me, that I'll start spending more time with my spouse. I'll start spending more time with my children. I'll start spending more time in my community. I'll start spending the needed time and and I won't be exhausted. Do you ever notice that when you're doing it through through, you know, delaying things through your own strength, how exhausted you are every day? You're like, all I do is is I I I press forward, I'm there, but I'm always tired. I'm always tired. Well, and I really feel like that this is like the Lord is I'm even saying that. It. It's like, yeah, I'm not asking you to sleep. Enter my rest with me. Enter my peace with me. And I will, and I will, and, and, and he will provide what we need. We get exhausted when we're doing it by ourselves. We get worn out when we're doing it by ourselves. We don't complete the things that we're delaying by ourselves in our own strength. And God wants to be in those places with us. So, you know, for, for what, for everything that I feel like God's been speaking on my heart, I always feel that, you know, there's somebody else that's on the other side of this too, that it'll affect. And, you know, I just really asked that this morning, if any of this message did speak to you, that you would get out there and that you would share this to somebody because, again, we don't know what's going to happen on the other side of our obedience and that somebody else's life could be changed by this. So um, for, the, for this word, it's been penetrating my heart for weeks. God's telling me to get prepared, get ready, and do the things that he's asking me to do right now. And if any of you are out there feeling the same way, Let's join together and let's get out there and do that. But before we go out there, let's be um, at DCC. We do believe in sending and let's just begin today with prayer and being sent out into the world and being prepared for what God has for us. So Father God, I thank you for your word. Your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. I thank you, Father, that you have prepared us, that you've never condemned us, but that you convict us righteously. And I thank you that as you speak to the body of Christ, that the word penetrates, but more importantly, that we bear a fruit and that we are a witness and that we are a salt and light to the earth here in, in today's um, time of need. And I just thank you that, Father, that we continue to keep pressing into what you're asking us to do for our family and our community. And I thank you, Father, that this, this word penetrates our hearts. And I thank you for a blessing in your grace and your mercy over this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Have a good day.